What's up guys, here we are in a new video. On this video, I'm going to tell you what Apple don't want you to know. The iPhone 7 is a phone that works good and was made and released 2017. And the phone is okay and working good. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus was released the same date. Now we are going to talk about iPhone 8. iPhone 8 and iPhone 7 resembles each other which they look very exactly but the iPhone 8 is having a glass back. That's the only difference for now. We are going to talk about the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 is a very good phone that has 4.7 inches like the iPhone 7. And about the design, everything is exactly like the iPhone 7. But the difference is it's having a 11 Bionic chip and it's having a glass bag. That's the only difference. And now we are going to talk about the new iPhone SE 2020. The iPhone SE looks exactly like the iPhone 8. But having a glass bag. But the Apple logo is moved down and the iPhone SE is having the portrait mode on it. That's the only difference. And they all have 4.7 inches, the iPhone 7, iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE. What you don't know on these three phones is that the iPhone 7 was redesigned to iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 was redesigned to iPhone SE 2020. Why should I buy iPhone 7? than iPhone 6 because the iPhone 7 is very good and working fast than the iPhone 6 and the design is not the same I think I'll buy for that reason but let's all agree that we'll buy the iPhone 7 better than the iPhone 6 now let's talk why are we going to buy the iPhone 8 why because it's having a glass bag and doing a wireless charging that's not a good reason for me that's not a good reason if you're even going to buy it you can buy it you are allowed but why are we going to buy the iPhone SE 2020? Because it's having the portrait mode. Why won't I buy the iPhone XR? Why won't Apple think of something better? They could have made the iPhone 7 good as it is now. And they should have made a big difference between the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8. The only difference is the wireless charging and the glass back. And the wireless charging isn't fast like the Maxif. So I think there's no difference. And about the iPhone SE, the iPhone has SE is having the portrait mode. So why would I buy the iPhone 7 Plus or 8 Plus? I would just go buy the iPhone SE, which is also 4.7 inches, but have much difference in the amount. It costs much because it was released, but I think it having uh, a 14 Bionic chip, which we made a video on that for the past couple of months about the best 10 phones. It's among the best 10 phones. So it's having the A14 Bionic chip and it's working good, but that's not all the excuse. I would rather buy the iPhone 12 mini than all these phones because the iPhone 12 mini have a big difference between the iPhone 7, 8 and the SE. The iPhone 7 and the S8 and the SE are all the same phones. If you just gather them together, it's all the same phone. So Apple don't know what to do on this. They just made the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, and they made iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. Without much difference, they could have get some ideas on what to put on the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. iPhone 7 looks like the iPhone 8 Plus. I mean, iPhone 7 Plus looks like the iPhone 8 Plus, which the difference is only the glass back. And the iPhone 7 looks like the iPhone 8. While I think the iPhone SE is good, but there is no difference between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE. So everyone have his choice, you can go buy the iPhone 7, 8 or SE, anyone. But my advice is that you better buy a special phone like the iPhone 12, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone XR. Better buy a different phone. So I think we are done. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Meet you on the next one. Peace.